I'm a little late. We're not starting over again. You know what, too? I always feel like I do this super close-up thing. I want you to see the pain in my eyes when I vlog to you guys. You know, fuck it. Enjoy the enjoy the scenery as we talk about something that made me... Oh, did you, did, you ever, did you ever hear someone tell you something so stupid that you need to give yourself a time out? I've talked about this before. I have. I think this, these are conversations that you probably have if, if you have these kind of conversations. Like, if you don't talk to people just for trying to get some kind of value out of them, I think often you can talk to somebody and you'll find people are so stupid, it, like, hurts you. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I told this story before that I've had conversations with people before and I know we're in my house I, I've like had to sit down in the basement and I've had to be like I've had to give myself a time out like what 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 is going on with this world but anyway this isn't a video game story and, there, and there's no there's no positive ending to this story whatsoever dude no positive ending to the story just me talking to a wall you know, I've often said that when I was growing up, I remember that the super religious person was generally, you know, kind of seen as often the worst person. Do you know what I mean? The person that was most fucked up. And nowadays, that is totally the super white knight person, the super social justice warrior, whatever the fuck it is, you know, part of whatever kind of social justice agenda that they have. They are often the worst kind of people, right? The most judgmental. And, and I definitely had some moments like that recently, right? Just venting because, again, it, it, this, it was so stupid. I had to give myself a time out, basically, right? I had to, like, sit down. I was like, do I want to take a nap? I, I might be a child because it, it made me so angry inside. I might need to go to my room. I, I need a time out. That's how angry it made me listening to some of these stupid things. So, anyway, talking to this girl recently, right? And again, it wasn't a flirty conversation or anything, right? And she's like, oh, hey, look at this uh, look at this message I got sent, right? And I'm like, okay, and, and I, I can switch. I can switch, you know, how I feel pretty, like, fast, right? So she sends me this message. She's like, I want you to look at this message for me, right? And the first thing I remember, and I'm just saying why I can switch, you know, how I feel really quickly, is because the first message, the the line from the guy was like, "Oh, do you want me to put it in?" And I'm like, "Are you? Are you do you want me to look at? Is this like a sex message you're sending me?" I'm like reading her text, and then all of a sudden, in the message, long story short, she basically, you know, they're having some conversation. They're basically saying like, "Oh, being gay, you know, is harder than you know dying." And, and, I, and I was like, whoa, 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 what, what, the fuck, what, what the fuck is this joke you're fucking making here, right? LOL, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you think like, do you think it's like easy dying in the hospital? You think it's like easy to have cancer? What the fuck are you joking about here? And she's like, she's just kind of like, oh, that's not what I meant. You know, just don't worry about that. Look at this part. And I'm like, no, dude, what, what the fuck is wrong with you to be joking about shit like that? Like, I don't think that kind of shit is funny to joke about whatsoever. And I, and I stopped right there. I was like, I, if, if you think that kind of shit's funny to joke about, I'm telling you right now, I don't think that shit is fucking funny, dude. Like, so you're going to have to check yourself before you joke about something like that. It, it just, and, and I've seen, and just, you know, this isn't a video game story, but, you know, it goes to show you, and I guess the, the girl's bisexual, so apparently she thinks, you know, being bisexual is harder than having cancer and dying. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are, are, are you a fucking real person? Like, the, the, the social justice warrior people are often the worst people, dude. And, and, you know, she tried to give some, like, bullshit. She's like, okay, you know, I, I shouldn't be joking about that. And it's like, yeah, dude, you, you shouldn't. That That is fucked up, dude. You know, so... And, of course, yeah, yeah this isn't a video game story, but you see people in the video game community like, oh, I, I poop and I pee my pants. I think I'm a, a legit fucking animal. I think it's as bad as having cancer. I think you're a fucking idiot, dude. I know I told the story, you know, again, not a video game story. I remember there was one girl, she, and man, she made this huge Facebook post about it. It was something like that, you know, she has anorexia and she thinks she should be treated as a cancer patient because a disease is a disease. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? What is going on here, dude? Are you fucking kidding me? So anyway, I thought, thought that was ridiculous and it put me in a bad mood. 
<laughs> I'm still in a bad mood about it, dude. I can laugh about it. I can laugh about it with you guys. To the few people that watch my vlogs, but it, it does. It, it fucking pissed me off reading that shit. And then recently, you know, to talk about how crazy white knight shit is and fake mental problems. I guess real mental problems. So I had posted this picture on Facebook. And there's this girl, right? And the weird thing is, I kind of, t I didn't even like turn down the girl in a bad way. And it, and it was a while ago even, dude. You know, she had messaged me something out of the blue. She's like, oh, hey, honey. And I'm like, hey. And she's like, oh, you know, things are just really bad for me right now. <laughs> I'm imagining that's how she talked, right? Things are just so hard for me. They're so bad for me right now. I'm like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, and she's like, well, you know, it's just really hard for me with things right now. I was like, I don't even fucking talk to you. What, what are you talking about? Oh, and she's like, you know, me and the boyfriend, you know, we broke up. Like, dot, dot, dot. And I'm like, sorry to hear that. You know, yeah, I'm sure that's tough. She's like, yeah, you know, it's just really tough on me right now. And I'm like, sorry to hear that. I mean, I have no idea what to tell you. She's like, yeah, well, you know, we don't have to talk about that. You know, let's talk about you. And it's kind of like, Anyway, long story short, I wasn't like mean to the girl, but you know, she, I, I think she got the non let's fuck messages as I wasn't super interested, right? Anyway, and this was a while ago, and so I posted this picture, and this girl starts commenting on my pictures, talking shit to me, right? And she's like, fuck you, you're an idiot. And I'm like, <laughs> I think the first thing I said was like, are you mad, bro, right? And she's like, fuck you, you're an idiot. It's not COVID's fault. It's your fault or <laughs> something. And I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? COVID, what the fuck are you ta talking about? And she's like, if you want to travel to Japan so badly, just go already, you fucking idiot. And I'm like, dude, what is your fucking problem? I can't go to Japan right now. And she says something like, you're, you're a fucking idiot and fuck you and your stupid hair. And I was like, dude, and I commented and like she had sent a few messages like this. And I'm like, dude, is, is this because I didn't flirt with you or something? What is your problem? No joke, dude. This old dude. I guess I'm old too, but this old dude, this old boomer social justice warrior, dude. And he posted my Facebook. He's like, he's like, how dare you? You are so cringeworthy. How dare you think that every girl who messages wants to have sex with you? How dare you think that she wants to flirt with you? That's why she's acting this way. You know, she has a woman. She has feelings or whatever. And that's the first thing you think that she wants to have sex with you? And I'm like, dude, first thing, I'm like, dude, did, did you see all the messages she just sent before? And he was like, she's only been saying that for the past 15 minutes. It was the first thing you said. It's like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Yeah, she's been messaging on my Facebook for 15 years publicly and all these pictures talking shit to me. Now I've finally been like, is this because I didn't flirt with you? And he's like, you know what? Why don't you just take some meds for your illness? And I was like, meds for my illness? Are, are you fucking serious? Meds for my illness? I have a real fucking problem, you fucking social justice fucking freak. And he's like, I just think it's wrong for you to treat women the way that you do. Assuming that a girl wants to flirt with you. And I'm like, well, are you a fucking idiot here? And so I just publicly posted her messages. Dude, she's trying to like give me a layup with the pussy. I don't give a fuck. Do you want, do you, are you trying to get with her? And, I'm not, and the thing is that there are other people actually chiming in with this dude. Trying to act like it was me. And that I was a bad guy for turning her down. And thinking that because I turned her down, that that would be the reason that she's randomly messaging me and talking me shit. And that I should understand that she probably has some other issues going on. And of course, like I said, these dudes are fake social justice work. You know, that, that kind of shit, it's crazy, dude. Like, it, again, it's not just the video game community. It's not just nerd community. This whole thing, the whole fucking fake social justice warrior, everyone... Wants to have a gold star for doing nothing. They're trying to push some fake agenda, white knight shit, and, and, and you know, and some other people. You know, I, I, I just couldn't believe that there were actually people defending this dude. Thankfully, there were other people. You know, actually, I actually had some girls chime in actually as well. Like, dude, what are you telling Clayton to take his meds for? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, this girl's obviously some. So 
point is, wow, dude, I, I, I just see that shit, dude. And I'm like, man, sometimes that shit happens. Like, I need a fucking time out. What is the level of your simpness? That your sympathy is so high that you are defending a girl who I turned down and I'm the bad guy because I turned her down. And she is talking shit to me, publicly posting on all my stuff about fuck me in my stupid hair. Fuck me, I'm an idiot. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, I, I, what, what was going on, dude? And the craziest thing is I always say too, I don't even, I'm not even that fucking cool. Dude, I get thirsty too, dude. I get thirsty too, but you don't see me going publicly talking shit about people because I'm fucking thirsty. It's, it's crazy. Like, I, I don't, I, oh man, Jesus fucking Christ. And again, I'm thinking about that girl. Oh my God, she th she's bisexual. So she thinks it's worse than having cancer and dying. It's just like, what is fucking wrong with you? you your social justice, L, fake LGBTQT transgender rights, you think everyone is the same? You, you know what I mean? It's like, dude, I, I've said before, I remember growing up, I had a lot of gay friends because people thought I was gay, you know, because I was just so friendly with everybody. And it's crazy because nowadays I think, oh my God, I would be fucking afraid of these people. They are just so fucking fake. There's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with being transgender. But if you think being gay or transgender is more important than people who are dying in the hospital? You think you deserve a special reward for whatever? You think a girl deserves a special reward because I didn't want to have fucking sex with her? And so she deserves to publicly talk shit about me on every platform? And then when I call her out for it, you're white knighting for her for me to, to fuck her and save her feelings? Are, are, what is wrong with you? That's the fucking world we live in, dude. The rule of two-thirds was fucked up. I need to get a better... I, you know, I keep thinking, you know, maybe I need to step up the camera game, this web camera. Like I said, does anyone know anything about the Canon um, M2, MK52? I've been thinking about maybe getting a better camera or something like that. Could you see the pain in my eyes? Can you see the pain in my face today? I'm still getting kind of tired of the fucking long hair, too, but it would still be long, but maybe a little bit short. Mid-length. Fuck it. 